I don't have hey, that kind of artistic ability under my command. Right. Because we could have did the whole legit room rock thing. The party just standing, walking around. I'm cooking while carrying everything on my back. And a anonymous crowd hiding behind us. The representative of Dark Alchemist just hiding in the corner like this. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. I can see it. Okay, so, to remind people what happened last time on the last Federation for either the YouTubes or the stream, we killed a Burlust- okay, in reverse order, we killed a Burlust Warlord, started trying to get them under our command so we could send them against the Thoraxians to spark a very, very early war and arms race, helped the Boreans get to a very, fairly strong point of power and made their fleets actually usable, brought spacefaring tech to the Acutians, Andors, Boreans, Burlusts in that I and Skylaxians. And we escaped from Thoraxian control. So what we and were we doing made kill all Thoraxians. You guys just really want to wipe out the Thoraxians. Of course they're bugs. And great boy, you just killed one. No, that's Burlust, sir. And the Burlust are the warlords that we're trying to get to kill the Thoraxians for us. Yeah, I'm talking about the uh, bug in your room. Oh, I guess you're right in that. Yeah, and by killing off the bug people, we get that wonderful planet they have. And they're a hive mind. No one likes hive minds. Stavaris lo Stavaris loves hive minds. Those are great. Anyway, but without further ado, what do you guys wish for me to do? Last time around, we were killing Burlust Warlords. I've killed one and basically made them actively like me because I murdered one of their warlords horribly okay, improving myself in combat. Okay, let's see if we can use that influence to start a war. Is that enough? Uh, let's go so. visit the Burlust Warlords. We have political clout, 800 leverage with both secondaries, and 100 with the prime. Challenge to a duel. I can't do this right now because apologize for the inconvenience, but due to the recent death of another warlord, all surviving Burlust Warlords are currently occupied in a gigantic bar fight and are unavailable for dueling. Um, military industrial complex, attack another race. I don't have enough leverage over that warlord. At the moment. Okay. We'll gain okay, 800. So warlord, we okay, so. If you want me to make the Burlus attack them, I have two choices. The Punky or Muxol. I can lose. Sorry, Punky or Ligboof. I can lose all leverage with them to get a ton of leverage with the Prime Warlord, and then I can use it to send them against the Thoraxians. Get rid of the new guys, which is Musco. Musco. No, it was no, it was the Lungi. Uh, oh, I think he's the new one. Punky or Ligwolf? I read upside down. Ligwolf. Get rid of everything for Ligwolf. Yeah, Ligwolf. All right. Uh, it's two votes for Ligbuff, so put in a word with your boss. Alright, and Muxol, I'm going to Military Industrial Complex to attack another race and order you to attack the Thoraxians. Chris War. <laughs> Alright. Andors like the Burlus a little less. Burlus like the Sky Skylaxians like Burlus a little less. Burlus like Thoraxians a little less. Burlus like us a little bit more. Thoraxians dislike us just a tiny bit more. But does that really matter? All right. So the war has the, the war has been started. Okay. The best part that could happen is both sides wipe each other out. Uh, the Burlusts are going to win the space combat too easily. Ground combat, the Thoraxians will always win. That's basically what's going to happen. However, there are other things to be able to be doing right now, because we still have the Evox Peltians, which I'm not going to get to spacefaring unless we get the special event. We also have the Borings, our current pet race. The Acutians, who don't really we hate have us. The puppies. Do you we want to pet, to pet the, the puppy? Do you want to pet the puppies? We have to pet the dog people, which means we have to help them out by giving them more technology. Do you I really want to give them a technology? The 
depends on what we give. Uh, let's see here. Gift technology. We have fiber optics, which improves research speed. Synthetic fossil fuels, which halves the severity of negative environmental trends. We can improve their ability to do orbital, orbital bombardments. They can well, get nanotubes, which improve... Yeah, I'm in agreement, because they're going to be our warrior race. We need them to be as strong military as possible. Or you can do the smarter thing and boost their manufacturing speed. Or, or we can do multiple things. One boost, give them all the tech. Do you really want to just dump all your tech on the Boreans? I would wait to see our other options. Let's give them one for now. All right, so... How about we increase their... I'm waiting. What about... How about we increase their reach search speed? That way they can research more technology faster so we can keep improving them. There are three options here then for that. Fiber optics, nanometallurgy, and orbital, orbital bombs. Well, we don't need them to be a warrior race right now because we already have uh, Thoraxians dealing with uh, a pawn of ours. Nanometallurgy so oh, would still improve their ability to build buildings. So, so manufacturing. Nanomet or just leave it with fiber optics and go? Give them the nanometal. Nanometal? Mm-hmm. Alright, going once, going twice. Yeah, let's do it. Sold. Alright, they like us a lot now. Out of curiosity, if we were going to ask for interplanetary relations, we can't yet actually make it so they actually will form the Federation, because that's locked out for us. How well, about, okay, I'm actually curious. Like no, we have four races that like us. Five, actually. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to take a look, because I want to see... Pirates. There's currently one Burlust Pirate Outpost in existence. You must cr crush it. It depends. Do you want to boost relations with someone by having them crush it alongside us? Mm. Boost the... let me see. Our options for boosting relations are... Skylaxian, Borine, Andor, Burlust, Acush and Acutians. Acutians. Yeah, no Skylaxians. They are next on the kill list. Why are we killing Skylaxians? I'm gonna, I'm gonna prevent you from killing the goddamn Skylaxians. They have a use in our empire. No one likes Skylaxians. They're too smart. We can't trust them. No, they're gonna be our scientists that we strapped to tables to do all our research. <sighs> it was the Acutians who delivered the final blow to your race, and that ruthlessness carries over in how they handle politics, which of them is really just another layer of their capitalistic businesses. Acution CEOs are extremely well guarded and cannot be assassinated, but you can make them fall from power by sabotaging their industry. Real estate, we're not going to crack down on crime or do anything of that sort. Transport and finance are currently special. And we can destroy a pirate base through them. Wait, are the Acutians robot races? Yes, they're a race of robots. Robot businessmen. For some reason, I suddenly have the urge to wipe them out. Think of it like this, alright? Your answering machine? Think of it having a better job than you. And that's this race. Wipe out all robots. Anyway. Robots have their So we wanted to use. We wanted to destroy the pirate base? Yep. Alright, we'll help these people destroy a pirate base. And the now I'm. Win. They'll control our industry in the future empire. Fair enough. So we have the neutral gentleman with us, and I'm going to take control for this fight because I'm going to make sure that we live. So let's take a look. Pirate bases, emergency response hangar. So we're going to want to destroy that. And I don't see any hydral techs with us, which is annoying, but I can deal with it. So let's go full speed boost and auto fire go. And if we get them to like it us enough, 
Let's have them dump toxic waste on the Thoraxian planet. I think that was severely... I think, compared to what you previously thought, I think that was severely nerfed. Still useful. Could be fun. I'm gonna fire on this one to see if I can kill it fast before it decides to gut me into non-existence. And then we're going to drop down Operation Kamchi. Get some free space available. So there's no, no, no shields, no. and it's weak to the minigun. We're going to try to sneak past the ADE turret. And minigun. Fire on selected. Oh my god, we're almost dead. Um, let us stun her. Run the fuck away. What are they shooting at us? Shortwave virus. Okay, we gain control over all this stuff. That's not that big of a problem anymore. Excellent. It's the burlesque pirates in general seem fairly strong. Makes sense. That's the reason why we're making them into the mil militant race. All right, we're gonna destroy the pirate hangar soon, and we've actually gained command over a very large section of turrets and ships because of the shortwave virus. I'm going to drop our engines a lot and boost our shields, and we're going to just try to kill off these bastards who are basically sitting right next to us. Excellent. It's all going to plan. Yeah. The very heavy hydra at the moment. I don't know what happened to the, the other heads, but... He's, they're sleeping. But Three Heavy Hydra is doing all right. All right. Our shield takes more damage. Our shield's at max strength, though, and I think a lot of our firepower is currently not going to waste, but we're just going to be kind of sitting here waiting patiently. Yeah. By the way, apparently this game is in the same universe as AI War. Yep. That's where you get a lot yeah. of the Hydral Techs are from, because not the Hydral Techs, but the Precursor stuff. Actually, let's go to Energy Blaster, because apparently everything's weak to it. Uh, Energy Blaster, and we'll just put you on auto-fire for now. Horrible idea. Um, target you. Okay, we're going to win this fight by sheer dint that there's nothing else really to stop us. Race, right? Uh, we're attacking they a were pirate them. that they was created the warlike from the warlike race. Which most of the time when you attack a pirate of a race, the race itself does not like you that much, I believe. They don't gain nearly as large of a benefit as doing, as taking the, like, as getting the alliance with the other race would. Seems we've oh, almost well. won. Basically, it's just going to take a little bit more firing and we'll be over and done with. There we go. So, we gain more local Peltian voting proxies from the Peltians appear. We don't gain anything else. There's Okay, pirates lost a lot of base power, armadas, and a base itself. Acutions, however, lost an armada as well. Oh. Thraxians are axing, asking for joint bombing runs or ground invasions against the Burlusts. Yeah, no. There will be no help on that. Alright. Wait. They want to do what? The Thraxians want us to help them against the Burlusts. Do it. Vaden the planet? No, no, I don't think you understand. You're doing the retarded thing right now, so I'm actually going to step in here and use some executive authority to point out that you're trying to help the race you want us to wipe out, sir. Yes, but think of it like this. We're weakening each other races. We want to wipe out the giant fucking fleet. Sir, sir, 
If you'll excuse me, let me point out the fact that you're gonna make the Burlists hate us after we've already blown up one of their warlords and got them to like us. It's, and the, and as it looks like, the Burlust fleet's actually getting wiped out anyway. Okay, then let's not. Whoever side's weakened, we'll kill afterwards. Plus, with a federation that we form, we'll be bigger than they are. The one thing we should concern ourselves with... Eh, actually. So, the races that are still available out there are Skylaxians, Andors, Acutians, Borings, Burlus, and Thraxians are currently at war. We can also go to the black market and do our own research if we wish. Let's do our own research. Let's get some it's new fire. ones. Let's see, is there something here that I can research? I don't want to buy any techs. Personal dispatch technology, personal research. Uh, what would be good for us? Those are planets improvements, those are safeties, which doesn't help us in the slightest. We can research basic subatomic theory to improve our science by 2.1, so all future research is faster. Might be worth it. Excellent. Let's do it. All right. Uh, we can take action. It would take 7 months and 20 seconds. I'm probably actually going to purchase some scientists to make this not take nearly as long. So we'll purchase 16 or so scientists. And then do the personal tech of subatomic theory in 6 months. And we'll fast forward and let this go along. Let's keep an eye on how their war is going. Okay, good news is we got access to the event screen again, so I can actually take a look and see what everything's happening. So, the war. Currently, the Thraxians aren't in any danger of actually losing. Their fleets are basically crushed by the Burlusts, who have half as much power as they did before, but the Burlusts cannot gain any gra foot, like ground. The okay. stone lead, huh? Wait, let's give the burlesques orbital bombardment. Hear me out. Give them the ability to slowly wipe out the forces of the Thraxians. They already have it. It only improves it. It doesn't actually do anything else, so they're going to be wiping them out anyway. How big is the burlesque or burlesque fleet right now? 629 compared to 14. They're not in any and, danger of losing. Also, and they're still the, one of the biggest fleets. Eh, that actually now goes partly to the Acutians, who have slightly bigger fleets than they do, and the Borines, who have a slightly smaller fleet but get war momentum. However, taking a look, two artifacts have been located. The Ark is under the Thraxian control. The Mire is under Burlust control. So the huh. sorry, not Burlust, Boring control. So what this Boring, means? But so, the Borings have that. We need the Ark. Yeah. No, 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 no. You, 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 you've got it backwards. The Thraxians have the Ark, the good one. The Borings have the Mire. However, to get rid of the Mire, we have to have an, another race take over the Borings planet. Yeah, let's, we're going to take the Ark back from the Thraxians. It gets destroyed as soon as it changes hands. Better than the Thraxians having it, dirty bugs. Fair enough. Alright, and there's currently nothing else here in the market that actually matters. So... So the, so the Meyer farms are boring friends. Yes. But the only way to get rid of it is to uh, destroy them? The only way to get rid of it is let the Borings be taken over and then Freedom Fighter their way out of it. Yeah. Or let the Borings conquer a new planet. Currently there's no open spaces. Wait, Ex do the Thraxians have two different planets under their control? That is the Hydral Homeworld. Which isn't actually anything special. It's still better than nothing. We have to have it doesn't, better boring it, to it, get it. It does not count as a planet. You can't put population there. It's there for posterity's sake. Sorry. 
Also, okay. under the borings, there are currently mass riots by the AFA, which is dropping public order. Public order is currently at negative 21 with the borings because of this. That could be a problem. Let's hope they're public order. Yeah, we don't want uh, any terrorist groups gaining a foothold. Fair enough. Let me improve local law enforcement. We don't want them to go anti-us. Essentially. We need them on our side. Okay, there's a positive environmental trend. Public order is currently trending up, but the AFA is still being problematic. The event won't end for another 48 months, meaning no matter what we do, they're probably going to have problems. Okay, so Burlus are currently gaining an additional space combat power through one of their effects, because they have a large amount of resources. But now they're having military chain slowdown. Alright. Thoraxians are basically oh perma-stunned. They can't get off the ground right now. The Evex are going to go spacefaring in 13 minutes. Uh, should we help them? I wonder that we will probably piss everyone off by doing so. Because I will not be able to actively evade all of the bullet, bullet patterns. Find their own technology then? Fair enough. Because all the races don't want anyone else to fight for the universe against them. As long as the dogs are on our side. We have the petter puppies. Evil laugh. Mo ha 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 ha. Of course. I'm almost watching the battle happen over at the bugs on planet. The Burlusts are currently spreading hate to all species in the solar system. Everyone has at least a zero attitude towards the Burlusts loses a bit of attitude every month toward every race that the Burlusts have less than zero attitude towards. The Raxians have also researched better orbital bombardment capabilities, but they haven't been able to leave their planet. But I believe the war is currently over. How weakened are they? Uh, both sides basically have no military power. Okay, Excellent. let's send a new race after the Thoraxians. I do claim not believe it. we have the ability to do so. Furthermore, they won't be able to claim anything on the planet because not a single race can beat Thoraxians in ground combat. Yet. Yet is the key word, but they're not able to as of now. We should, we'll leave them alone for now. When their military starts getting up there again, we'll send uh, their force at, at them. We don't have the resources to spend all our time going after them. Fair enough. Let's see if we can kill another warlord real quick so we can build up some more influence. I don't think we have had enough time has passed, but I'll check. Burlust warlords. Yes, we can challenge another warlord to the duel. Pyunk, Ligbuf, or Muxol. Kill the one with the least influence. Ligbuf. You will die. Yep. You have no need of him. I'm gonna save right before doing this to not be stupid. Remember to use the minigun. Yes, mm -hmm. we, we've the minigun has not been removed because there was no reason to actually do so. Because we have to keep our little pawn under our thumb. The key part is make sure they don't know they're a pawn. All right, we're in range now, so I'm gonna drop engines for shield, a good mix between shields and otherwise, and let us fire at will. All right, so their shields are gone. We'll switch to minigun and open fire. They don't stand a chance. I'm pretty sure everyone that was writing the Chronicles of Lake Wolf are like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah he was here for about two seconds. Uh, let's drop our weapons, speed boost out of the way. Boost weapons again at the extent of shields. I'm pretty sure the Burlust 
Zelda pond. They're just happy being it. I mean, we're giving them what they want. They like war. Gentlemen, I love war. Gentlemen, I don't think you understand. I love war. I major. Soon, soon, soon we'll have them wiped out with the Thoraxians. And all drop shields, to boost the speed, move. We'll be gone. Okay, that nearly killed me. How close is it to death? I'm gonna continue trying and hopefully not getting explodified. He hits pretty hard. I do. Smart not to get explodified. Agreed wholeheartedly. Three but more rounds of combat. We're in a great position right now. The two races that are likely to wipe everyone else out are currently trying to kill each other.